Whenever I release a new video that contains an advanced Excel formula, somebody always writes, didn't work for me. But why didn't it work? Well, in this video, we're going to look at the most common reason. So if you're ready, let's get started. Often formulas can work for me, but not for others. And this comes down to three main reasons. First of all, it could be a typo. They haven't typed out the solution correctly. Secondly, it could be down to Excel versions. So I've got a version of Excel that isn't the same as theirs. Therefore, the feature I'm demonstrating, they don't have. But the third reason is probably the most frustrating reason. It's regional settings. And that's because in different regions across the world, Excel has different settings. Therefore, even if we have the correct version of Excel, even if we follow the solution perfectly, it doesn't mean it's going to work in our region. Now this happens because different countries use different decimal separators. For example, in the UK, the period is our decimal separator. But in countries such as Italy, the comma is the decimal separator. This is important because in the UK, Excel uses a comma as the argument separator. But in Italy, that wouldn't work because Excel wouldn't know what was decimal places and what was a new argument. Therefore, in Italy, they have to have different argument separators in their Excel functions. Now we can find out what our decimal separator is by looking inside Excel and also in our regional settings. Here in Excel, I can go to File, and then Options, and then come to Advanced. Here, we have our Use System Separators. If I uncheck that option, I can declare what decimal and thousand separator that I want to use. My defaults are based on my system separators. I'll click cancel on that. We find our system separators. If we go to our control panel, then go to clock and region in there, we move this across. If we go to additional settings, we can see there that my decimal symbol is a period. If I wanted to, I could change that to a pipe, click apply. Now, when I come back to Excel, if I enter 1.2, Excel believes that's text. But if I enter 1 pipe 2, Excel now treats that as a number. We can tell because it's right aligned. Now, as you can imagine, this isn't a particularly useful setting. So I am going to change that back. In this window, we also have list separator. This is the character which is used to separate arguments inside Excel. Here I have a comma, so that means that comma is my argument separator. I don't want to make any changes to that, so now I'll click apply and then OK. And then I can click cancel. Now in most countries where they use a period as the decimal separator, we find the comma is the argument separator. But if the comma is the decimal separator, often the semicolon is the argument separator. So that's functions, but what about arrays? In English UK, we have the comma as the column separator and a semicolon as the row separator. But what is it in other countries and other regions? And I've looked all over the internet and I haven't found an exhaustive list of regions and characters, but there's an easy way to find out. I'm going to open an internet browser and in the bar at the top, we're going to enter excel.new. I'll commit that. That will now open a new version of Excel Online in our OneDrive. In here, if we go to File, Options, and Regional Settings, if you change that to English United Kingdom, so whatever your settings are, make sure you change it to English United Kingdom, and then click Change. In cell B2, I'm going to enter equals, opening curly bracket, and we're going to enter 1, 2. That will create an array in the UK version of Excel with 1 and 2 in different columns. I'll then enter a semicolon to create a new row, and then enter 3, 4, and then close with a curly bracket. When we commit that, it creates an array of one, two, three, and four. And we used the UK syntax to create that array. 
Now we can go back and change our regional settings. Go to File, Options, Regional Settings, and I'm going to change mine to Italian. I'll click Change. When that refreshes, if we look in the formula bar, we can see that we now have a slash instead of the comma and a period instead of the semicolon. These are the array separators that you need to use in your version of Excel if you've changed it to the correct language. So any time that somebody enters an advanced formula, if you see them entering a comma or a semicolon, you need to think, but what are my array separators that I need to use in my region? Let's take a look at an example. Here I have some data and we want to use the choose coals function to select only the first column and the third column. I'll type equals choose coals and you'll need to use the function name in your country. When we enter that function name, you'll notice that we have a semicolon placed between each argument in our function declaration. That means I need to use a semicolon to enter our function arguments. I'm going to select my array and then I need to enter a semicolon. We then come to the next argument and the second argument of choose calls can be an array. I need to enter an opening curly bracket and I want to return columns one and three. I'm going to start by entering a comma even though we know using the Italian settings that this will give me an error. I'll close the brackets at the end and commit that formula. As you can see, it doesn't give us the results that we expect, and that's because I haven't used the correct array separator. If I change my comma to a slash, that now calculates the correct result. So for every example you see online, just remember that the person who's created that example may not have the same regional settings as you, and as you create that solution, you need to use your regional settings. If you want to go deeper with arrays and understand how we can use them in Excel for advanced calculations, then you should sign up for our free course called Modern Excel Formulas. It covers everything you need to truly understand how Excel's calculation engine really works. It's free and you can find links in the descriptions box below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.